What is going on, everyone? There was so much excitement for this upcoming Houston Texans season. Not only are we are excited to see CJ Stroud and this Houston Texas team get to work and try to win our first ever Super Bowl, but we are also excited to see what these players are going to be wearing. The Houston Texans are getting new uniforms. Rumors and rumblings of a H-Town Blue, a callback to the old school Houston Oilers as one of the themes. There was a lot of excitement surrounding these uniforms. However, the Houston Texans, they are trying to keep everything hush. They are planning a big event in the upcoming weeks, right before the NFL draft season ticket members are invited. Uh, fans will have the chance to go if they win some type of sweepstakes. Yeah, I want to see these jerseys. The Houston Texans will be unveiling four new uniforms. So with all this excitement, there has been a couple leaks. Leaks that the Houston Texans have had to react to. One of them was an entire jersey leak where the Houston Texans themselves, Cal McNair himself, had to go ahead and release the uniforms to do it some justice. And then just today, a leak about a new helmet. I think the theme was H-Town and Tough. We are going to talk about it, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ruben Calavillo, and I want to welcome you to the 713 Houston Sportcast, where I drop daily Houston Texans content. So make sure you guys are following me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and this episode was brought to you by my friends at Underdog Fantasy. Download the app, use my promo code 713HOU for a welcome bonus on your first deposit up to $100. And thank you all so much for watching today's episode. Now, the first leak was about a month ago. This picture appeared on Twitter, and it was a non-NFL player modeling a Derek Stingley jersey. Now, I think the theme of this type of jersey is traditional but modernized because it's not that different from the jerseys that we already have. However, there was a negative reaction to this, an immediate negative reaction. And let's be honest, man, this picture is in a warehouse. It's not Derek Stingley. And it just doesn't do it no justice whatsoever. And a lot of fans were getting discouraged and it's like, well, we got three new to, you know, three more to go. And, you know, this has to be number four. This has to be the worst one. And about 30 minutes later, well, first of all, it was so bad that it got trending on Twitter. But about 30 minutes later on the Houston Texans Reddit page, Cal McNair, owner of the Houston Texans himself, posted a picture of Tank Dell and Nico Collins in the jerseys that were leaked online. And the picture did it so much justice, right? It kind of started swaying fans' opinions to not liking it, to like it. I am on the fence, right? Like I said, it's, uh, it, you know, it's not too different from what we already had. However, it is new. It is modernized and like what the theme said. And maybe when I see CJ Stroud and Stephon Diggs on the field with it on, I'll fall in love with it even more. But this is a good start and it's a hell of a lot better than what we saw from the initial leak of whoever the hell that was in Derek Stingley's jersey. Then we didn't get anything till earlier today. And this video of a helmet with an H on it, baby blue, with a red outline on it and a different type of font to the H. And I'll talk about that later. But here's the video that went on Twitter. Immediately it goes viral and I might be in the minority here, but I am a fan of it and growing up and going to malls like Almeida, Baybrook, there will be some stores with H-Town inspired clothing and they'll use that type of font. Like this is from big city and this, you know, go to Almeida mall, shout out to them. They have great, you know, that's where I get my hats, but you know, this is a, you know, a Houston shirt and. Kind of, you know, kind of the same type of font and, 
Dio's did it ourselves. They are, in my opinion, one of the best clothing brands, H-Town inspired clothing brands here in Texas with, uh, you know, the Mexican OT rocks them a lot. With that being said, it screams Houston. It really does. And it got me more excited for this season. Now, like I said, I might be in the minority, but as someone who is from the H and growing up and watching, you know, my family wear clothing with that type of style, you know, it makes me like this design even more. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I think this was a successful leak if I was the Houston Texans. However, we know they are upset. They posted the gift of the faucet with water dripping, indicating, oh, it was a leak. With that being said, I wonder how they are going to respond like the, you know, like the first one. Are they just going to drop the jersey and the entire uniform? I'm not sure with the event being about a week and a half away. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, there is still so much excitement for the upcoming Houston Texans season. For more content, y'all know what to do. Follow me for more. Go H-Town. Have a very blessed day.